here's a warning for those who are in the prosperity movement. And I'm not ashamed to say that it's a false doctrine. You ready for this? Time to expose prosperity prophets. They preach money for their own profits. Teaching no loss, only gain, all joy, no pain. Building their fame, yet living in vain. We can't say it's just flirting with sin. God says it's adultery from within. Like a pretzel, they get the Bible twisted. Boasting they their only ones gifted. They keep bragging about all their wealth. Saying if you have faith, then you get health. It's not about what they drive. It's about what drives them. When they pull up to God, they will stand condemned. They live in mansions so lovely while lusting after all luxury. Revealing they found the key while stealing from you and me. Time for us to be wise and open our eyes. Looking past the disguise behind the mask is lies. Don't be surprised at all their tries. Their earthly treasures is their prize. Paul told Tim the love of money is the root. And it's our money that becomes their loot. 2 Peter 5.2 tells the leader about the need to be eager to serve and avoid the greed. Hebrews 13.5 teaches to be content. Our value is not measured on what we spent. Even Jesus said we can't serve God in cash. Our earthly treasures one day become trash. Next time we hear a prosperity preacher say, give me more money so you can have a healthy day. Watch your step and don't stumble at that trick. That trap will only make your money sick. Our gifts should be given out of love. And guilt is something we can get rid of. God loves the gift of a cheerful treasure, not the one given under pressure. Yeah. Now that God, now that you know God cannot be sold, He's after our heart and not our gold. The words of this letter may be bold, but now we know better for truth is told. Amen. Amen. Let's stand to our feet.